What advice would you give to the person who sins and he repents and he, and he goes back? He sins and he repents. He goes back to that same sin. He then goes back to that same sin. And he's sincerely repenting. Yeah. So the person repents and he goes back to the sin. He's sincerely repenting and he goes back. You have to understand, brothers, well, like, there's something that's taking you back to that sin. I'm saying, what is it? Are you watching something on TV? Are you talking to some friends that are influencing you? Wallahi, there's no one just sins. We don't believe that things happen without a cause. That's the atheist. They believe there was no cause and the universe just popped. That's stupid. <laughs> that man, they can get all the PhDs they want. <laughs> they can't understand basic, basic logic. Nothing just happens without a cause. So a person sinned, you have to ask, what was the cause? Something happened. Either you weren't doing that which was going to protect you, i.e. your worship, your dhikr, or you were doing things that were going to uplift that protection from you. You were, you were speaking to people that were wrong, you were watching... Well, you have to understand, sometimes, sometimes... Look, I was reading an article on my phone this morning. I was reading an article on my phone, and as I was scrolling through, them articles, sometimes they have, you know, these advertisements, and there's women. Well, I saw a picture of a woman, and it was inappropriate. So I quickly uh, scrolled up. To not see it. Wallahi, I swear by Allah. I'm not trying to say this to make you feel like I'm righteous or anything. Wallahi, this whole day, this whole day, I felt a darkness in my heart. Whole, I can feel it. Wallahi, I can feel it. Like, that thing I saw, man, it's made, it made my iman go low. Wallahi, it made my iman go low. And I only started to notice these little things when I totally cut it out of my system. I don't see, I don't see women like that because I, I don't go outside my yard. For me, it's masjid house, masjid house, masjid house, or taste it all. <laughs> Recently, I started going to some other places. You go to this place called um, Najma, Brothers 2. You guys heard of Brothers 2? Brothers 2, yeah. So, I'm saying, that's it. That's about it for me. Masjid house, masjid house, taste it all. Every now and again, we go to Somali food. Get some bris. The point is that that's my life now. So I don't see no TV, I don't watch no vlogs, no videos, I don't do none of that. So when I see it, it's like, ah, I, I can feel it now. Like imagine if my clothes are dirty and I've got just all sorts of crap and madness on my clothes. If someone spat on my clothes, am I going to notice the difference? Because it's filthy. Does that make sense? So the same way now, same way now, if my heart is just always seeing these things, it just won't, it won't affect me. But then when you turn away from that, wallahi, I remember one time, us brother Nasir, we were, we, we, we were in Dubai, and we were, we, we were in, in, in the mall, in the Dubai mall, right? And how were you feeling, Lachie? Yeah, it was peace. It was peace. We didn't, we, it was just, it's just being in the, this dunya place, just ah, like Gucci, Louis Vuitton. And then you're broke, and you start to feel bad about yourself. And it's just like women, and then you're like, rah, I can't even afford a milkshake here. <laughs> you know? And you start to feel really low, and like the dunya just gets to you, man. It hurts you, it really hurts you. Uh, that makes sense. <coughs> so you have to take yourself out of those places. Even, it will get to a point where even going to the marketplace, will, you'll see your iman drop. So you know that just avoid all of those things. Just note it down. Does that make sense? Listen, brothers, before I let Brother Nasser come and, you know, end the day, inshallah ta'ala, or the evening, I just want to mention to you guys, inshallah ta'ala, this is going to be every single Saturday. Okay, every single Saturday. So who's going to try and make an effort to reach every Saturday, inshallah? Put your hands up. Who benefited so far? This is, we're trying to make this a thing where it's a bit more interactive with the young brothers, you understand? We can, get, we can get deep, we can talk about things that we wouldn't really be able to talk about. I'm really sorry, man, we didn't get the food and the snacks sorted for this week. I promise you, inshallah ta'ala, we'll be here next week. That's a promise, okay? So make sure you get as many brothers as you can. Remember, do you want reward? One of the best ways to get reward is to bring someone to something good. You get the reward of them coming and yourself without it being decreased. Hey guys, I really hope that you benefited from that video. Before you go, I want to ask you a really important question. Have you guys ever thought about studying Islam and seeking knowledge? If not, then I want you to reflect upon this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet said that seeking knowledge is obligatory upon every single Muslim. Of course, that doesn't mean you have to be a scholar, but you have to know the basics in order for you to be the best possible slave and worshipper of Allah that you can possibly be. So, we decided to provide a solution for this. You see, many people want to study, but they don't have the means or the resources to do so. So we set up an online institute called the Knowledge College, where you can study Islam from the comfort of your own home. So if you want more information on the Knowledge College and you'd like to sign up, go to the link below, check out the website, and hopefully we'll see you on the other side.
السلام عليكم